So great for a lot of students, there are barely any changes in part one curriculum for FRM this year. So when we're looking at 2022 to 2023, uh, we'll go through the changes. Just before that, the syllabus in the entire year is the same. So all the exam terms, May, November, uh, during 2023, the syllabus is same. The syllabus changes from one year to the other. Normally, part two has a subject like current issues, which has a lot of changes. But part one, normally we don't see a lot of changes. So over here, when you see this part, there is 4% addition over here this time. And there is barely 1% change and barely any deletion. So I'll just give you the summary of changes first. This is a summary of the changes. There are two chapters which have been added at the end of quants. Those two chapters, kind of, I have taught in part two curriculum. They were earlier part of part two. So I'll just brief you on that. So we've got two little lengthy, not lengthy, I would say, but relatively average length. Uh, I think it is going to be non-numerical. I'm yet to see the books and get an idea on that. But it is going to be two non-numerical chapters on machine learning that have been added. This is going to be at the end of quants, right? So it's not going to be very difficult. Uh, it is going to be non-numerical chapter because machine learning also basically utilizes, it takes your regression and all to another level, wherein we are discussing about, you know, how to analyze data, make decisions based on that, analyze that. So machine learning methods and prediction. So how do we use it? How do we predict and forecasting and all? So that is going to be a part of the end of quants. Now in quants, we have three chapters, linear regression, regression, etc. Wherein just one, one LOS has been added. Where, what do you mean by an LOS? LOS is basically subheadings in a chapter. So barely you can see like a one, one and a half, two pages have been added over here in quants across these three chapters. Uh, in fact, these three and this is in your financial market product, one LOS, there are changes. At times the changes also may not be significant. It could be very simply like um, uh, uh, where they, they've put in heading like explain this. Now they will write it as describe this. So just to be on the safe side, we'll just go through it once the books are out as to what changes are there. And this one chapter, Measuring, Monitoring, Volatility, we've got a few changes. This is a fourth book, Valuation Methodology book. So one new, one change and one deletion is there. And Option Greeks, there is one LOS that has some changes. But even here, they've changed, they've talked about some delta hedging change, but I think it's already covered. I don't think there is any major change over here as well as to what they've mentioned. So this, this will barely have any changes and all of that. I'll just tell you how I've got the sheet ready and then I'll uh, discuss how do we cover the changes with the class. So I have given you a chapter wise detail. There is no changes in the foundation book. In Quant's book, there are two chapters with one LOS added. One again, third chapter with one LOS added. And there are two new chapters over here, which is marked. There is no deletion in the syllabus over here. So chapter numbers, I think all the chapter numbers over here are changing because there are two new 25, 26 inserted here right there is one LOS change in this chapter over here here this this chapter has got like three LOS one new one change one deleted and option Greeks has one LOS change so uh, changed so this is your chapter wise detail the same chapter wise detail I've broken up into a LOS wise detail so this chapter has got these headings and there are no changes so if you see foundations has no change quants we will see some changes so in this chapter, one new LOS is added. So the ad added LOS is marked over here. The added LOS is marked over here. But I think this is also covered in the class. I don't see there is much of change or addition. I think they've just changed, you know, the language and all of your subheading. So this is this. And there are two full new chapters added. So all the LOSs are newly highlighted, right? And this is across all the chapters. So in OTC, this LOS is added. So if you notice earlier, the LOS, the chapter was 29. Now it refers to 31 ABC. This has got changes. 29 D is 31 D, but changes. The rest of them are same, right? So the entire mapping over here, it is providing what was the LOS number for 2023 and what was it for 2022? So the entire heading by heading mapping has been done for you. Now, obviously don't get uh, uh, worried looking at a huge document like this obviously you don't have to worry all you have to know is just a moment so when you're studying these chapters what you do is basically that you just say for example this los is uh, changed so you just add uh, over there changed and whenever you come back to the chapter you go through the changed part the rest of the chapter you can do as it is the new added newly added los is just wait for me to cover it in the live class and share it with you 
you do the chapters because there is just one LOS added. So you do the chapter as it is by yourself with the lectures that you have. There is no problem. And one LOS deleted, just cancel off that part and ignore that part from the lecture. Obviously, I'm assuming you people started studying earlier because normally the books get released uh, by the end of January or uh, beginning of February. So I advise students to start preparing early. November students do not have this challenge. May students have and it's not a challenge again. It's, it's just a little bit of adjustment you have to do. So what you do is you do your curriculum. These two chapters obviously once done in live class will be shared with you. Uh, these new LOSs will be done in live class and shared with you. Just ignore this LOS that you have. I will obviously get this LOS removed from the lectures. But if you already have the lectures, you can just ignore this portion. The change portion also just wait. If you want to cover right now, I think I would advise you to cover it, not a problem. And if you do not want to cover it right now, you can wait for me to share the remaining. And the rest of the chapters you can do as it is. If you still feel that, you know, I don't want to do these chapters right now. I want to delay it towards the end once the new books are out and I have covered in the live class and then you want to do it. That is your choice, but I would not advise you for this because the changes are minimal. There's barely any change, so won't be a problem. These two chapters, obviously, you'll have to wait till I complete it in the live class and share it with you, right? So normally what we do is uh, for 20, 23, 22 books is what you're using. You start preparing, you start studying. Books generally are out in January for, uh, last week or February first week. We uh, do not wait until then because it becomes a long time frame because you have to start preparing early. Once the new books and uh, all are out, you can just have the two new chapters printed or something and you can work with that. The rest of the curriculum is anyways the same. And I will obviously, once the new books are out, I start covering it in the live class and I will share it with you. Once it's shared, it's informed in your groups and all of that. And in fact, now I think by the time February, we are going to be doing this. In fact, in just a couple of weeks, we'll start having Zoom live also. So basically the lecture that I'm doing in the live class over here, we will have the opportunity option that you will be able to see it live uh, uh, as well. So we're working on that. For these chapters, you'll have that facility any which ways. And even if you, if the timing does not work out when I'm doing the live class and when you want to study, in a couple of weeks, the lectures get uploaded on Google Drive. You can download the two new chapters and do it, the changes part also. All instructions will be sent, so there won't be any problem. You guys can very comfortably prepare. And even the two new chapters, there is no relationship of these two chapters with the rest of the curriculum. So it's not that it is a related chapter and if I do not complete this, I cannot move forward. So those challenges are also not there. So this is absolutely fine. So there's just barely two new chapters, rest the changes are almost negligible, right? Even the change portion, don't worry. These new LOSs and the change portion also is once covered in live class is going to get shared with you. So don't worry on that. So I'll have to wait and see until the books are out. Perfect, works, all right.